Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Careers This Week. And this week we're at the galleries. Kasha's going to tell you about the new exhibit out here. Got a lot of great information on today's show. So if you miss any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. Today's CTW takes a closer look at an art form that put our region on the map. It's the gallery's most popular exhibition, Clay. Clay offers a diverse view inside the world of North Carolina pottery that is literally as old as dirt. The exhibition features 28 potters with hundreds of pieces. From everyday abuse pottery like vases, coffee mugs, and dinnerware to grand wall hangings and decorative pieces, all the works in Clay exhibition are for sale with a price range from $5 to $2,400. A variety of events are scheduled for guests to experience the new exhibition. Art on Tap, Craft Beer and Clay is Friday, January 11th at 1 p.m. Young adults will have the opportunity to sample a selection of craft beers and do a hands-on activity. Art on Tap is free for members and $30 for non-members. Family Day is Saturday, January 26th from 1 to 4 p.m. for all ages. Activities are free and will center around the exhibition. Clay runs through January 26th. You can view the exhibit at the galleries located in the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse, 65 Union Street South in Concord, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information on the gallery's exhibition, Clay, through January 26th, visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2787. Now take a hike this year. You want to? No. Let's okay. go. <laughs> That's it. Okay, you can bundle up and join the staff at Rob Wallace Park for a New Year's hike. That's on Saturday, January the 5th, 2 to 4 p.m. This family-friendly one-mile hike explores the flower trail and is followed with the oh, hot cocoa. Oh, that sounds good. Crafts and meet and greets with some of the friendly ambassador animals. I guess they're just hanging out waiting on you. So for more information, New Year hike. January 5th, 2 to 4 p.m. at Rob Wallace Park. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Bird Day is January 5th and it's not just for the birds. Join your fine feathered friends on Saturday, January 5th, 11 a.m. at Kannapolis Branch of the Library for Bird Day. Family fun story time. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> That's it. All ages are invited to this special story time to soar in <laughs> birds on their day. For more information on Bird Day, January 5th, 11 a.m. at the Kannapolis Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-920-1180. Now, are you the type to kind of, you know, as soon as the holiday's over, take out all the holiday decorations down? No, no, it stays no. up through January. There you go, see, that's what, <laughs> but if you are, okay, the cities of Concord and Kannapolis want to remind you that Christmas trees are collected on the same day as your normal trash. Now don't forget to remove all the garlands, the lights, ornaments, tinsel, and the stand, <laughs> that would be important, uh, prior to placing the tree on the curb. So for more information on the residential yard waste, just call 704-920-5555 for Concord and 704-920-4200 for Kannapolis. Take the guesswork out of waste collection with Cartology. Cabarrus County, Concord, and Kannapolis partner to launch this tool, which keeps residents informed about waste management services and programs. The system includes a calendar, yeah. reminder system, and waste wizard, which provides information on how materials can mm. be reused, recycled, composted, or disposed of within our community. And remember, it's so important. When in doubt, just throw it out. There you Don't go. guess on recycling. There are two ways to access the system. Visit concordnc.gov, kannapolisnc.gov, or cabarruscounty.us to access the entire suite of new tools. Or download the mobile app by searching for Cartology in the App Store or Google Play Store. For more information on Cartology, call 704-920-3209. And I've got my Cartology downloaded, and we use it all the time. It's great. If the yeah. uh, garbage trucks are going to be late, it sends oh. you a notification that pops right up oh, on your wow. phone. It says, hey, it's going to be late, or there's a one-day delay. or. Yeah. If you don't know what to do with recycling, just type in what you're looking for and it'll say garden hoses. Throw them away. It's great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yep. Okay, now start planning your spring sports season with the City of Concord Park and Rec Department. Now, registration is now open for t-ball, baseball, and softball. 
Kids ages 3 to 15 can build their self-esteem, learn skills of the game, and build relationships in this fun atmosphere. Now the spring season begins in March. Registration is open until January 31st. So for more information or to register for the City of Concord Spring Sports, visit concordparkandrec.org or call 704-920-920. 5601. Now, it's funny, both my girls played in rec ball and then they ended up playing in college. So, hey, it helps with scholarships too. Okay. Of course, the money you spend getting to those scholarships, <laughs> you could have paid for their college. Hey, so well, I don't cool. know, baby, but they had fun doing it. And <laughs> plus, I got to coach. Fun, yeah. Yes. Heating your home during the winter months can create a financial burden. To help keep our citizens warm this winter, the Cabarrus County Department of Human Services is now accepting applications for its Low Income Energy Assistance Program, or LEAP. Mm -hmm. LEAP provides an annual benefit to help qualifying households pay winter heating bills. Qualified individuals and families can receive one-time vendor payments, so they mm -hmm. just make out the payment directly to your That's energy great. provider. Applications are accepted through March 29th. Eligibility for the program is based on household income, number of folks living in the home, the type of residence, the type of heating fuel, and their utility rates. Applicants must be responsible for direct payment of their heating bills and the level of benefit varies. For more information or to apply for the Low Income Energy Assistance Program, Visit CabarrasCounty.us or call 704-920-1400. Now recently crowned as the new queen of bluegrass, Rhonda Vincent is the most decorated artist in that field. Now you can hear her classic bluegrass January 19th, 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. right here at the Davis Theater. Now tickets are $40, can be purchased online at CabarrasArtsCouncil.org or by calling 704-920-2753. The Piedmont Choral Society, which mm. we featured just a few weeks a month or so ago, yeah. I guess, has rescheduled their Christmas concert. It fell during that horrible weather event we right. had in December. The new one is Saturday, January 5th at 4 p.m. That's at Forest Hill United Methodist Church, located at 265 Union Street North, right here in Concord. Enjoy delightful holiday choral music and orchestral accompaniment. For more information on the Piedmont Choral Society concert, January 5th at 4 p.m., visit facebook.com slash piedmont.choral.society or call 704-699-6053. Now, we got that sneak peek to hear that, and it was awesome. I mean, Beautiful. absolutely awesome. Now, did you get a new device during the holiday season? Maybe you don't have any idea how to work it? Well, why don't you drop by the Mount Pleasant branch of the library on Wednesday, January the 9th, between 2 and 3 p.m. for device advice. There you go. Great name. Yeah, staff assist you in unboxing your item, setting it up, and <clears throat> download those helpful library applications. So I wonder uh, if they would help us just get regular toys out of <laughs> the containers. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Maybe That's they help really what we need help oh, with. Building them. That would yes. be really good. Okay. Now, so for more information on device advice, January 9th, 2 to 3 p.m. at Mount Pleasant Branch, just visit CabarrasCounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2202. Honor the man who brought unity and hope to many Americans at the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade, Monday, January 21st. Lineup begins at 11.30 a.m. at Barber Scotia College. After the parade, gather at the MLK Plaza Roundabout on Cabarrus Avenue for the wreath laying ceremony. For more information on the 2019 MLK celebration, visit mlkccnc.org or call 704-782-9768. Now bring the kids to a fun-loving children's opera that shows the value of teamwork. That sounds nice. Opera Express, a busy bee, a uh, busy bee. Okay, the Opera Express will be a bee. Okay, now that's on Saturday, January 26th at 1.30 p.m. right here again, Davis Theater. All kinds of stuff going on here. Now, based on a popular children's book, Opera Carolina tells the story of a honeybee named Bella who is trying to find her place in the hive. Okay, now she tries out a few different bee jobs and though she gets a little tired and sometimes frustrated and almost gives up, but she, you know, she ends up finding her place as a flower scout. It's a great story about persistence and finding your place. Now this event is free. 
So for more information on the Opera Express of Busy Bee, January 26th at 1.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater, visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2753. Did you find an engagement ring under the holiday tree? No. Nope. Well, don't spend another <laughs> minute stressing over booking appointments for wedding professionals. Let them come to you. Carolina Bridal Fair, the largest bridal event in the Charlotte area returns to the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center on Sunday, January 20th, noon to 5 p.m. The finest wedding professionals guide you through aisles of bridal show booths featuring everything you need for your dream wedding. Advanced discounted tickets are available online only for $10. Tickets at the door are $12, cash only, please. For more information or to register for the Carolina Bridal Fair, January 20th, noon to 5 p.m., visit carolinabridalfair.com Call 704-920-3976. Now, that really is a great event. I mean, it, you can get a lot of stuff done or kind of learn what you're going to have to get done at that event. Now, Cabarrus County Governmental Offices, including Cabarrus County Governmental Center, Human Services Center, Animal Shelter, all library branches, the Senior Centers, Camp Spencer, Frank Lisk, Vietnam Veterans, and Rob Wallace Parks will all be closed on Tuesday, January the 1st, to observe New Year's. Republic Services will operate its holiday collection schedule with a one-day delay for residents this week of December the 31st. Which you would know if you had the Cartology app. There you go. You would know that. <laughs> so, I tell you what, if you missed any of the information we had on today's show, looking for contacts, all you got to do is go to CabarrasCounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. Sign up for our newsletter. So much information that comes right to you. Go to CabarrasCounty.us, type newsletter in the search bar. And, of course, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at and, Cabarrus County. At Cabarrus County, that's it. And if you have friends and family don't have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or you just want to watch us when you get a chance, all during the holidays, you can just go to cabarruscounty.us slash Cabco TV, watch us on demand, or even better yet, watch Channel 24-7 on the live stream. Just go to cabarruscounty.us, click on live stream, and you're rock and rolling. Okay, it's all good. And I tell you what, there's so much stuff going on here at the Arts Council. This, the clay is always one of their big hits. And yeah, I've got a couple pieces from, from not this exhibit, but the last time they did it. Well, right before we started filming, there was someone in here buying pieces. So <laughs> we know it's working. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, and I tell you what, it's New Year, so happy 2019, everybody. Have a great year. Okay.